This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Um, whenever I do any kind of video about amp sims and that sort of software which is admittedly a world i've only got into quite recently in the last few months uh, but whenever i do a, a video about those kind of uh, software packages what i've done so far guitar rig bias amp and a couple of others um, there's always at least one comment in the comments section where else uh, about the blue cat axiom software package um, people are saying you know kind of download the trial version and see what you think uh, it's fantastic so that's what i've done i've downloaded the uh, trial version of blue cat axiom and um, i've just been having a bit of a uh, look at the presets. I haven't done any editing on any of the sounds that you're going to hear today um, because I think, well frankly, this is a first impressions video and the presets are where you get your first impressions from. They are, if you like, the shop window for the software and usually it's the kind of sounds that you can have uh, that you can get by just tinkering through the presets that make you decide that you're going to either shell out for the full version of the software or not as the case may be so here are a small fraction a tiny percentage of some of the presets that are available in the blue cat axiom software package uh, i've gone for six sounds uh, two clean two sort of mildly overdriven sounds and a couple of more high gain lead sounds and well here they are So there you go that is as i say a very very infinitesimally small um representation of some of the presets in blue cat axiom and um well let's talk about what i like about the software first of all um 
I like the clean sounds, especially the uh, that first clean sound that you that you heard there. I forget what it's called, uh, but that first one, the big luscious reverby one, I could see that very easily becoming the uh, the core of a of a sort of David Gilmour esque kind of sound. You know, for maybe something like um, "Wish You Were Here," that kind of sound. I should just mention as well there that all of the sounds that you heard there were courtesy of my. Uh, Gordon Smith GS 1.5 guitar. Just uh, put that out there. Um, the clean sounds especially I like. Um, what I don't like is the way that the trial version of the software operates. You may have noticed on one of the sounds there, I think it was Meet the Mini Brit, the, that preset, uh, that the sound went a bit wobbly right at the beginning of that patch. Uh, that's because the software just randomly cuts out uh, and, and bypasses itself for a second or two as you are using it during the trial version. Um, do you know, I would rather have, you know, a timeout period or, you know, some kind of limited functionality like you can, like, like you can't edit the patches, for example, or the presets. I would rather have that than this intrusive, um, kind of thing where the software just stops working for a couple of seconds before coming back in. I found that a little bit irritating, uh, to be honest, as I was uh, putting the uh, the video together. Uh, the other thing I'm not that keen on are the, the overdriven sounds, it has to be said. Um, the other amp sims that I've used, including, funnily enough, the uh, Blue Cat Free Amp, the, uh, the free um, software that they give away, uh, I think just has better... Uh, overdriven tones, um, or certainly easier to find better overdriven tones. I, I just use one of the presets on the free amp as my main lead guitar tone, the classic drive tone. And I'm sure it's in, uh, the, uh, Axiom software, but, um, I just, it, it eluded me, put it that way. Maybe that's down to pilot error. Who knows? But in terms of, uh, the shop window for the effects, uh, for, for the software, am I going to, uh, spend 200 quid on buying this software or 200 euros or thereabouts on buying this software? I gotta say, I'm not. As I say, I love the clean sounds. Um, the overdriven sounds are usable. I could, if that was what I had to work with, uh, then I'm sure I could, uh, you know, dial in something that was much more to my liking than the sounds that, that, uh, that you heard in that clip. But I've already got sounds that I can use that are, that are dialed in to how I like them to sound, um, without having to spend another 200 euros on, you know, getting close to those sounds again. As I say, I also found that um, that sort of cutting out business a little bit intrusive as I was putting the uh, video together. Um, so I just think maybe, you know, it, I, I doubt I'm the only person who finds that annoying. And if you're trying to sell some product to people, then it's probably best not to annoy them in the process, really. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. That is the Blue Cat Axiom software package. A whole bunch of usable sounds, undoubtedly. Um, but uh, nothing that I'm prepared to pay that kind of money for. That's my conclusion. Make of it what you will, and please feel free to disagree in the comments, as I'm sure many of you will. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day for today. I'll just remind you once again, the live stream, 5pm Friday, 5pm UK time, we have a live stream. Uh, it's all about the beer and the banter, and just a uh, bunch of middle-aged men sitting around, kicking off the weekend, uh, having uh, having a bit of a chat and a couple of beers. Great fun hope to see many of you there if you're interested in supporting the channel all of the links are down in the description please check them out and thank you in advance for doing so if you do and as i say i'll bid you good day for now uh, thank you for watching guys thank you for your time stay well stay safe and above all stay sane see you next time folks